Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the daily Apple report for Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. But before I walk you through the charts, as usual, just want to encourage you to please click like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel. Share the content, if you would, with friends and colleagues. And check out WickedStocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos just like this one. Daily analysis in the SPY and the Triple Q, that is the S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100 ETFs. Weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, the long bond ETF, the TLT, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube. That is eight a month that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor. We're always looking for at least 20% moves on those stock picks. And you can check out all of this for no cost for five days. We offer a five-day free trial up front with a WickedStocks.com subscription. So sign up for WickedStocks.com. Check it all out. If you don't like what you see within five days, you can cancel your subscription at no cost to you whatsoever. Let's take a look at the charts. I'll start with this uh, chart big picture move my way into the day itself but just a reminder that 167.26 is a channel bottom horizontal channel structure uh, that goes back many months it is long-term support able to contain selling uh, through the second quarter into later year perhaps and from here we can round up within three to five months maybe we've seen that plenty of times before into the low 200s uh, the trigger for bullish continuation would be a settlement uh, at the end of any week above this descending channel top that is presently at 182.10 and dropping. 182.10 is found on the daily chart at 181.97 and it is part of a range that is developing that begins at 178.47. I don't expect to see this area um, you know, I think you can buy 167.26 and anticipate it within a month or two, but I don't expect to see it within two to three weeks unless we can close today above 171.93. So we have this horizontal channel structure that if tested today and present volatility doesn't suggest as much, but if we test 171.93 today, it can contain daily buying pressures, possibly into later week. We could fall away again from here. So you might consider this more than just a mere session containment, daily containment. And if we were to close above 171.93, two to three week buy signal to 178.47. Now I'm keeping 171.93 as a session containment level only because we have been coming off of long-term support. I know we have not been testing it to the very tick, but we're slipping into that 1% zone. The 1% zone would be, you know, 1.67 plus 160. 726. You know, that would take you to 168, um, 80 or 90 something. I'll let you do the math there. But, you know, we've certainly been slipping into that area. It can absorb longer term selling pressures. And uh, once again, if we were to close today above 171.93, uh, we don't see 167.26 for some time to come. Two to three weeks up to 178.97. And over the next two to three weeks, that actually converges with this descending channel top at 181.97. 182.10 on the weekly chart. This area, I keep forgetting to bump up to four stars because it deserves that multi-week containment potential. 178.47 to 188.97, if tested, can absorb buying on a monthly basis, which is to say, if we were to close above 171.93, we reach into this area later April where we could top out through all of May and perhaps fall back into the 167.26 region again within three to five weeks or so of doing so. Once again, it would be a settlement above 181.97, weekly chart 182.10, that would signal bullish continuation within two to three months into this low 200 area that I haven't committed to yet because I really need to see what the low is. Let's talk downside. You've got 167.17 also on the daily chart, but 167.26 is your weekly chart. And, um, you know, you, you're allowed, if you will, slippage down to 165.58. That is the 1% violation threshold of 167.26. If we, though, close today at 165.58 or lower, that is an early sell signal, perhaps, that becomes verified following a weekly settlement of the same on Friday. But on an intra-week basis, you know, we could, if we close today, 165.58 or lower, fall into the 161.71 to 163.12 region, this former channel top. Uh, but if we do then wind up closing Friday at 165.58 or lower, that is 1% below 167.26, uh, 
I have a three to five month sell signal to 136.78. So no good reason to be long Apple, uh, you know, through the rest of the second quarter and into the third. If we were to close this week at 165.58 or lower until then, bottom pick away in anticipation, longer term three to five month uh, traders of the lower 200s, perhaps that becomes clearly verified, clearly indicated if we can push once again above this upper 170s, low 180s area narrowing gradually, which does become a two to three week target if we can close today above 171.93. So if you haven't been bottom picking Apple and you're kind of a two to three, three to five week swing trader, um, you know, then you're going to want to, in my opinion, buy a settlement above 171.93. That would be on strength. Uh, we should then see aggressive follow through buying within two to three weeks into that 178.47 to 181.97 region. Until then, if you're waiting it out uh, and not bottom picking 167.26, I have no problem with that. And in fact, if we close at 165.58 or lower, that looks heavy through the rest of the week. And assuming we close the week Friday, 165.58 or lower that looks heavy uh, into the third quarter 136.78 then becoming a three to five month target under that scenario you might reach for 138 140 strike out of the money puts that don't expire for at least six months you might even go a year out on that as we're testing though the 167 handle two to three three to five week swing traders who like trading options uh, might reach for 178 179 strike out of the money calls that don't expire this is like a one to two month play at this point in time um, that uh, don't expire for three, four, five months out. That's what I would do. Uh, and um, if we did close today, for instance, above 171.93, you could actually buy a 179 call that doesn't expire for at least a month. I see this as about a two-week play to the upside. Um, I think that that pretty much rounds it out. There's not much else to say other than please click like, share, subscribe, check out wickedstocks.com. I'll be back tomorrow with Wednesday's Apple Report. You have a great evening.